Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, please make sure you like and subscribe so that you can keep watching my videos as they're updated. Um, first things before I start the video, I just want everybody to know that I got a haircut. Um, I love this haircut, but I know from my last video, it's very drastic, um, but I love it. So you'll see in my videos, I'll go from super short hair to really long hair to super short over the years. Um, anyway, this video I wanted to put out there because my ACC -er is three and a half years old. She's in preschool right now in a threes classroom. So she goes three days a week um, for three hours in the morning. She loves it. They're learning a lot. Um, but because I pay extra close attention and from having um, a teaching assistant background, I have noticed lately that some of her friends in the class um, recognize a lot of letters. And Lillian, to me, doesn't recognize any of them. Well, she didn't recognize any of them, I should say. So... I wanted to make a video to show you guys what I've been doing with Lillian, um, which is definitely helping her and hopefully it will help you guys. Um, I want to say that the first thing I always do is I turn everything into the, uh, to a song. My kids know their address because of a song. They know their grandparents' addresses because of a song and they even know an aunt or an uncle's address because um, you never know in case of an emergency. They know their full names because of a song and they know mine and my husband's phone numbers uh, because I turned, I just turned everything into a song. And um, so Lillian could not even, up in uh, about three days ago, she could not even tell you a single letter that was in her name. So I turned it into a song and she, does process things a bit slower. Um, my older daughter, I had done her name as a song too, and she's much faster at processing things. So her name song went very quickly. Lillian's song um, just goes a little slower. And without any prompting now, I can just say, can you tell, tell daddy how to spell your name? And she can spell it because she sings the song to herself and she'll sing, L I L L I A N that spells Lillian and she loves it every time. So now to kind of, uh, you know, tell her I want to sing the song. I've come up with another song that just goes, let's sing the name song. Let's sing the name song. Let's sing the name song and tell me who you are. Let's sing the name song. Let's sing the name song. Tell me who you are. And, and she loves it. Her part is that she spells her name and, and then she likes to say that, you know, the end part, that's how you spell my name. Um, Along with that, I want her to recognize the letters. So I had started out with a deck of flashcards and I was trying to get her to go through every single letter. And it only took me about two days to realize that that was way too many letters for her. So I thought, okay, I'm going to take it down and I'm only going to do the letters that are in her name. So to make her first name, it only requires four letters, right? Another day of working on that, it took me one time of doing the flashcards to realize even that was too many. So we started with an L and I want to show you guys, these are the cards we use. This is from Leapfrog. So they're cardboard cards, the letter L, and it has this on the front and back. So we have big L that she's learning and little L. And um, in case you guys are interested in these cards, it comes with different games. And um, this is Violet. So the kid can actually, it's really nice because they don't have a pen. They just like slap it on the page and it plays games with them. It reads them the letters. It does the sounds. Um, she just does that for fun. I don't have her do that as the learning part. We just go over the card and then often um, we'll practice the sound. So I'll say, okay, this is the letter L. Which one is big L? She'll point which one is little L. What? And I'm, um, I'm trying to show her... 
I'm teaching her that L is its name because she can, you know, people, it's easier to connect things to a name. Um, so this, its name is L, and that's how she knows it. Its name is L, and the sound it likes to make is ol. And we practice that because she does have trouble, I would assume most three and a half year olds have trouble figuring out to put the L there. Um, so we do that every day, probably twice a day I go over that card with her. The name song, we just sing constantly, randomly throughout the day. Uh, another thing I like to do to reinforce spotting the L's and recognizing them is re in reading books. Uh, like Pete the Cat is a great one because there's not a lot of words and the letters are a lot larger. So I will point to the words um, as I'm reading them. And then when we get to an L one, I'll be like, oh, look, Pete loves pickles. And I'll say, what? Oh, what, what letter does loves start with? And she'll tell me every time L. Um, we did that with a Pete the Cat the book yesterday. And every time we talked about it, she knew it was an L. Uh, two other papers that I do with her every day are, um, this is one of them. I call it a look and find. I don't know if you can see it. I put the L on the top and I tell her this is the letter we're looking for. Is it big L or little L? And she'll tell me that's big L. And then I don't help her at all with this paper. I just say, big L is in there. There are other letters to throw you off. I don't tell her those letters because she doesn't need to know them. That's too much information. I just tell her, look for the L's. And then along with her having to figure out, um, she's recognizing the letter. She's practicing circling. So she's getting multiple things done. And then even at the end, I never say to her like, oh, there's one more L or, oh, you're missing one. I'll say to her, did you find them all? And then she has to tell me yes or no. And I'll sit there as long as it takes, you know, I give her extra time to um, process what I have said and um, help her to get herself to the answer. The other paper that we do every day is letter tracing and I just make these papers myself. You can buy them um, in workbooks and at the, like the dollar store or Walmart or wherever. Um, you can also print them off online but they're just easy to to make. So I just did a solid line big L, solid line little L, and then I made dotted lines. And, and this paper she did yesterday and um, was it yesterday? No, sorry, two days ago. I helped her with this first one just to show where you start at the top and you go down and across. She did the rest of this paper completely by herself, which I think is awesome. And then this was yesterday's paper. She was a smidge more distracted. So she still did the whole paper herself. You can't tell she was a lot more squiggly yesterday. This one was on purpose. She thought it was hilarious to make it as squiggly as possible. But then if you see over here, I walked out the room for a minute and I, when I came back in, she said, look, mom, I made L's all by myself. And I said, that's awesome. Great job. Let's turn it over so you can make another L. And she did this. It started out as a shorter L, um, but then she thought it was funny to make it taller and taller, which is great. Um, I want her to have fun making the letters. So these are just two of the papers that I do every single day. It's recognition and writing. So now at this point, she, I can tell her to write an A and she can write it. I can tell her to write an L and she can write it. So she's got two letters of her name down. Um, for fun, we do papers like this that I've made. Here's some words that start with L and a picture. She colored in with a lavender. So we continue to talk about crazy things that start with L. These are stickers, um, which also works on patience because she sat there. It took her quite a while, but she sat there and put every single sticker on there. Um, and then just a fun one. These are all L's, sticker L's, and she had to fill in her L. And then um, there was a lamb. I asked her what it was. She knew it was a lamb. She obviously can't read the word, but she knows it's a lamb. We talked about how it starts with the O sound, uh, and she just didn't have time to color it. And the last thing is lacing. I don't have this one done yet. It, uh, as you'll come to realize, I love to make 
everything. Um, so this is just a piece of white paper that I had glued to a piece of cardboard. I cut out now, glued it, and I'm going to take my hole punch and um, put some holes around it and tie a, um, excuse me, a shoelace. There we go. There's my braid. I'm going to tie a shoelace to one corner so that she can lace because she really, really loves to do that at preschool. Um, let's see. Those are just some of the things we do. Um, some of the stuff that I didn't show that I'll mention really quick is cutting the letter L. I'll draw it on a piece of paper, like a bubble letter L, and she'll cut it out because she loves to cut. But again, it's two things at once. It's cutting and letter recognition. Um, we do finger tracing. So even on the paper that I showed you where she drew it, we often will draw with our finger as well. Um, we do the ABC books and um, one thing that I plan to do that I just haven't had time yet is floor letters where um, I don't know if I'm going to do a look and find kind of one where you have multiple of the same letter or just the alphabet itself and you put it out on the floor and you can make a fun game out of it. Um, that is all I have for today on that topic. That's how I'm going to be teaching Lily and her letters. It's a lot of repetition, the same paper, but you want at this age, she needs the recognition of the letter and how to write it. And the easiest and best thing to do is to start with whatever is the first letter of their name. Um, come up with a great rhyme to sing their name song, because even if they can't recognize the letters to write it, if there's some kind of emergency and like a police officer or a fireman or someone says, what is your name? How do you spell it? They, if they, it's better that they know it, you know, um, than to be able to write it at this age or recognize it if they can spell their name for an adult or tell them where they live because of a song. I think that's an awesome thing. Um, so I hope this video helps please let me know and um, if I get enough comment feedback about it, I can do other videos on how I teach other things. Um, like I said before, I have a song for teaching addresses. I have songs for teaching phone numbers, um, just about anything. That's why my kids talk so much, I think. I don't stop talking to them. Uh, okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope some of this, uh, helps give your kids some, some tips and has lots of fun and I will see you next time. And please remember this disorder does not define you. You can define this disorder.